All right guys, so we're just gonna get straight into this one because this is going to be all about logistics. So we're gonna be covering how to ship from China, how to do it in the most efficient way, but also I'm gonna be covering US Fulfillment Centers, 3PLs, and how to actually buy in bulk ship to a US fulfillment center and make it cheaper than even using an agent shipping from China. But I'll also be covering agents shipping from China because it is important when you wanna ship international. So I'm gonna be covering all of that in this video. I promise you a lot of these strategies are probably not ones that you've used before. Um, and it took a lot of testing and headache in order for me to figure this out. So uh, I'm just gonna share it with you guys. So let's get started. Oh, wait, wait, guys, there's a big announcement. The 48 hour sale for the 2.0 course is officially launching on the 26th, which is less than a week. This is very exciting. This is gonna be the biggest sale and by far the best opportunity to get inside the program. This is actually gonna be three courses in one, everything about Google Ads, step-by-step, -step, A to Z, everything about Facebook Ads, and there's gonna be multiple live case studies. So literally everything is going to be step-by-step. -step. It is absolutely packed, but I'm gonna be covering that towards the end of this video. So let's get into it. All right guys, so the first method is we're gonna be utilizing AliExpress, but using VIP listings. This is how you can actually get cheaper prices than what's listed on AliExpress, and you can get faster shipping of around seven to 15 days. So it's very powerful, but the best part is that there's no risk. You don't have to make any commitments, and you can literally do this with every product you test. So let me show you how I do it. So let's imagine we wanted to sell this Bluetooth speaker right here. We see that it's trending, uh, especially consumer electronics in general, do absolutely crazy over Q4, but we look right now and we see that it's doing pretty well, so maybe we wanna test products like this. Now, the strategy here is actually we need three different suppliers that sell this product. So we're gonna go ahead and find three different suppliers, and once we do, I wanna look through and see what shipping options the suppliers already use. So for this one, for example, is already using a last mile shipping or claiming that they ship from the United States. Now, whenever you see this, what's really happening is, yes, they're shipping from China, but they're using a premium service. So whether that's Yun Express or SF Express, yeah, it ships from China, but then the last mile delivery carrier is either with FedEx or USPS, where your package actually looks like it came from somewhere in the United States. But what helps me vet each supplier is actually by sending them this script. So this is the script and I'm just gonna leave it below, but each part of this covers a different problem that you might run into when you're testing off of AliExpress or using a new supplier in general. Um, for example, asking them for past tracking numbers, this really kind of just gives you the cheat sheet right away. Like you can see like, okay, what is their actual shipping time? But also what this does is if they reply and they give you a detailed reply, that's another big check mark for me because now I see that they're interested and they're willing to kind of put in a little bit of work, which means, you know, when you're giving them orders or whatnot, maybe they'll have a high chance of being very diligent. Okay, so this is the script that I use. And so based off of the replies, I'll usually have one or two suppliers that I like. Now, the second or third step, whatever step we're on right now, is now to go ahead and start sending orders. So we can't do the VIP listing just yet. We have to get to at least around seven orders per day. And then once we start creeping up to about 10 orders per day, then we message them and now we bring up the VIP listing. So first of all, what is a VIP listing? And second of all, how do we do it? So first, a VIP listing is actually just this. It's a hidden listing that no one else knows except you and your supplier. The benefit of this is for a couple things. First, First, now you have a really close relationship with your supplier where now they know every single order that you put on this hidden listing is only between you and that supplier. The second thing is it's not gonna increase the order count like publicly for everyone else to see if this is a good or bad product, which is very important. Now the third thing is this is when you can now have upgraded shipping. So this is where you can approach your supplier and say, hey, look, if I hit 20 orders per day or 15 orders per day, can we do five dollars instead of six dollars per unit and also can you give me a quote for how much shipping would be if we used yun express if we used sf express if we used epacket so you can get a quote on all those different shipping lines and they will tell you and now it's all built into one listing and it's very simple to fulfill in fact what i like to do to fulfill all of these orders is i actually like to use DSers. Um, this is a very good automated system and it's one of the cheaper options out there so this is a very important process and this is going to make just drop shipping very reliable and this is absolutely no risk to you. You don't have to buy anything upfront still. 
but you're still able to leverage almost like you have an agent, okay? So this is how we can start testing. And remember, the reason why I like this strategy is because I only do this when I'm getting about 10 to 20 orders per day, because after that, then I go and I transition into an agent. So this is the next thing I wanna cover. Now, getting an agent is very important. You don't wanna scale on AliExpress and you don't even really wanna scale on other platforms that try to automate the process for you, such as eProlo or CJ Dropshipping. You don't wanna scale on those platforms. You wanna have as little links in the chain and make sure that you're as close to the supplier as possible. Now, an agent is still going to act like a middleman, but now it's only you, the agent, and then direct to a supplier. So you will be getting a very good price and the agent will already have a very streamlined process for shipping. They have the warehouse, they have the logistics kind of set up. However, it is very tough to just go and find one agent and be like, yep, this is it. Because you always have to test and see how you like the agent and that can be very tiresome. So I'm actually just gonna give you guys uh, the two agents that I do recommend. One is just very cost efficient and is Chinese native. The other one is not Chinese native and just has really good English and a better process in my opinion. But whether or not you guys wanna use either or, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna leave them in the private Facebook group and I'll just be sending out an email uh, kind of giving a detailed structure on both of them because the one that offers really good pricing, I did scale to 250K a month um, and it was fine. But you know, there's, there's pros and cons to both of them. So um, that's what I'm gonna kind of do to answer that question because they're really, it's, it's not that easy to find a very reliable agent, okay? All right, so here is the next thing that we're gonna be covering, and I know this was a very popular question. I wanna cover 3PLs or USA Fulfillment Centers, especially if you have a lot of your orders in the US, let's just say over 50%, you're gonna find this very useful, and I've been able to save a ton of money and actually make a lot more as far as profit margin by only shipping from the US and getting all my stock in bulk in the US and I've been able to do it with very low risk. So let me kind of read off the cons though and benefits and then I'll cover exactly how do we buy in bulk, what is the process on Alibaba and how do we get that into the US warehouse and what's the onboarding process. So first of all, the pros. Um, there are a lot of pros. Like guys, I make at least 15 to 20% more net margin uh, using a US fulfillment center than I do even shipping uh, from China with an agent. But also I've been able to now profit off of offering different shipping options. So people will pay quite a bit for faster shipping and I charge what's called priority processing. And basically all that means is it's literally gonna get shipped in 24 hours, but all the orders are already getting shipped in 24 hours. So it's just literally a free bonus. In fact, off of that uh, option alone, I generate around three to four grand a month in net profit just from priority processing. So it's, it's very beneficial. Now, I'm gonna go over the cons and then I'll go over the different ways that we can actually do this. Uh, the biggest con that I've noticed that is pretty tough, you're gonna have to get a lot better at stock forecasting and really kind of have your cash flow in check. So when you're doing this, you're gonna have to kind of pay for orders that you haven't gotten paid for yet, right? So maybe you have to buy stock a month in advance, uh, minimum two weeks in advance. So it becomes kind of this game of where you're kind of placing orders every five days, every seven days. Maybe you wanna just do bulk orders every two weeks. It really depends on kind of your style. There are different methods to this, but this is gonna become very crucial in order to calculate on how much stock you wanna order and then also how much stock you can move and kind of be efficient if you're gonna scale or not. Now, let me cover actually how to do this and then we're gonna cover the different options that we can use for warehouses. All right, so step one is we need to vet a couple suppliers on Alibaba and see who we actually want to buy in bulk from. And then we can actually look at US fulfillment centers after. So um, the first thing is I wanna go through a couple of these suppliers that are selling my specific product, which um, I'll be honest, the search function of Alibaba is absolutely terrible. So even if I type in my exact product of Bluetooth speaker or even the exact requirements, it's gonna show me a ton of different options, but let's imagine I actually like this one right here. Because maybe when I was selling my other one, people didn't like the design or people didn't like all the buttons or they wanted a big subwoofer. And so this might be a very good option for me. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get a sample from about one to three other suppliers, at least three. Now, samples are gonna be more expensive if you get you know, DHL shipping, which is what I do. So it'll probably cost you, let's see, this one is around $5. So it probably will cost you around 45 bucks to just get a sample, which is fine. I mean, by this time, you should have at least had like some amount of cash flow, at least 
three or four grand in net profit. And so this is literally no big deal. Now, once you ship this to yourself, you can actually look at little different pieces of the product and before the manufacturer makes it in bulk, because most likely the manufacturer, um, they have to put the pieces together. They don't have, you know, all in stock, um, most likely. And so you can make little iterations and changes to the product each time you buy in bulk. So let's just say, uh, for this product, maybe the battery life is not that great. So you can change the battery life and ask them to do an upgraded battery in your product, no extra charge, and you can consistently make the product better and better. And it puts a little moat around your business. But regardless, the point is, is that we wanna find a sample. Then we're gonna ask him for how much is 300 pieces shipped via DHL to the US. So once you have a ballpark estimate, it's time to kind of look at different options. So we do have a couple options when it comes to shipping from the US. If you are just getting started and you just simply don't even really wanna to touch drop shipping, you can actually start with the US Fulfillment Center right away and you can have a minimum order quantity of like one order a month. So for example, this company right here, this is Ship Hero Fulfillment. So they actually allow you to just pay as you go. So as long as you move the stock that you sent to the warehouse in 60 days, all of that current stock that they had is gone, then you don't pay any fulfillment fees. You just pay a fee on each order you sell. So this is a very good option. And once again, there's no minimums. So this is a good option, but the company that I used is Dollar Fulfillment. So Dollar Fulfillment is more for the option if you're over 30 orders per day for one SKU. So this is a very powerful option because you're getting now the cheapest fulfillment by far. Literally, you're paying $1 fulfillment for pick, pack, and ship. Now shipping is an extra, you know, a little tiny fee, but they don't try to profit off of you for shipping at all. They're very fair. And yes, this is definitely the best cost efficient manner. So what I want to show you guys is if you are at 30 orders per day, how do you now get your stock from Alibaba and ship it to this warehouse or to this company? What is the process? Well, it's very simple. So the first thing that you're going to do, everyone has to do the same kind of process is you have to get on the phone with them and get onboarded. So they're not going to just take any client. You have to get onboarded and they're going to kind of ask you some questions, ask you how many orders you're doing. Once again, repeat the pricing to you and it's, it's very fair, okay? It's a very fair price. Then they're gonna have a couple different warehouses that are open and some that just, they can't take any more clients. So maybe you'll get lucky and you can actually choose a warehouse that is hopefully more in the middle of the states. One of the warehouses that I had was in North Carolina. It was a bit of a bummer, but they have a ton of different warehouses and right now they're probably, they probably have a couple more client spots. Now, how do you actually take the stock and ship it to this warehouse? Very simple. So when you place the order on Alibaba, you actually put the address of the warehouse and it ships straight to that warehouse. Now, one thing I wanna share with you that really helped is look, if you do get stopped at customs and you're trying everything and it literally seems like you're gonna lose your product, I've had this happen to me, there is a company that is pretty good and they're called Border Buddy. So let me show you real quick. So if you run into any issues, you can actually contact this company right here and they'll help uh, whatever you're importing, they will help you import it and literally get it through without any issue. And their fee is very inexpensive. So you can call them be like, hey, look, I really need help. How long will it take to get this you know, cleared? Like, ah, we can get it cleared in 48 hours. And it's a big help. So this is another um, option you can use. Now, a couple key things before I end this video. Guys, I'm gonna be going live in a couple days and this is gonna be the best time to ask me questions about e-commerce, specific questions about your business. I'm literally gonna be going live for an hour, just hanging out, answering questions, and I'll be covering the 2.0 course. I'll be going over details, a lot of frequently asked questions about the course. And so it'll be really fun and it's not gonna be like a pitch fest. We're just gonna hang out and I'll do multiple lives. But what is the best time to do the live? So please comment below, let me know so that way I can plan and we'll go ahead and get the live started. And also, so you don't miss the live, sign up to the email list. I'll send an email right when I'm live and uh, yeah, we can all hang out. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please comment below so I know what time is best and uh, I'll see you on the live.